Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Fellas Elite Pigeon Auctions. The night is falling quick. We were droning today. We were having fun. I was out bicycle riding. We were at the lofts of Geert and Leandra Munich in the Netherlands. Yes, you've seen them. Jeez, I'd say for the last 20 years with these pigeons, these Johnny Boy pigeons. The winds keep on coming, they keep winning. They enjoy the pigeons. Now they're getting into like fourth generation pigeon flying. And uh, there's Leandra right there. And there's Geert. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. So right here we have in front of us your breeding lofts. Yes. So just roughly how many breeding couples do you guys have? We have here uh, 12 couples. 12. We have uh, upstairs also 60 couples. 60 couples, okay. 16? 16? 16 upstairs. 16 up. Okay, perfect. And they get the Avery, they get everything. Just normal? Yeah. Nothing special? No. Nothing special. No. Okay. Let's take a look. Let's see, let's see the magic in here. As we go in here, gear, I'm gonna hook you up with this for just a second, my friend. There you go. Let's roll in. Don't worry, you're on now. Yeah. Now are the pigeons uh, outside. Outside, inside, it's okay. I like, can, uh, they on. They on. They all live and open. <laughs> My grandson is in the loft. Je moet even naar buiten, heb je duizend meter erin jagen. Hij wil filmen. Hij is bezig te filmen. Oké. Top hier. Dit is onze breeding loft. Twaalf koppels zijn hier. Twaalf koppels, ja. Very simple setup. Yeah, very simple. Nothing fancy. No, no. Clean the loft every day. Yeah, every day, uh, two times uh, cleaning the loft. I hate a dirty loft. You hate a dirty loft. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. We have now uh, youngsters. They are uh, most ready. I think uh, tomorrow then uh, I pick up the youngest from the parents. They make uh, new eggs. So this is this is the age you normally wean. Around this age. This is the first uh, round. First round. Yeah. Okay. Very very nice. So you're gonna start moving these out. Yep. These youngsters are from uh, Magic Blue. And you see in, in behind, you give the, the pair another bowl, you have yeah. a, a pot there for feed. When I uh, ring uh, the youngsters, then they are uh, seven days old. And when they are 10 days, then I make a new back in the, in the loft for the, for the parents. No smell of pigeons in here at all. Very, very nice, simple setup to the loft. Lots of good lighting in here. Sometimes they have three. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, a triplet. Yeah, three? Yeah. Yeah, I make one. Uh, you give one extra. Yeah, one and, extra. And how, that's an interesting thing. Those are three healthy, healthy, strong yeah. ones. Yeah. Yeah. And the, this pair is feeding three. Yeah. Mm. How do you find it works? Good? Yeah. No problem. One hundred percent. You can see. Yeah. No, but but they you are full. But you always tell me it's it's uh, must between uh, uh, the day ten days. I think you say to me yeah. ten days, and then you put another young. It's possible to yeah, put it under. Yeah, uh, sometimes when you have uh, eggs and you uh, make a youngster, uh, give him a youngster, then yeah. you put uh, the eggs yeah. on, and then you give him a youngster from ten days. Yeah. So all these, yeah, these youngsters are all the same age. Yeah. There you go. Look at this, you and can you can see. see not one of them is missing no. body weight. No. Uh, Super strong. Excellent. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. And. Uh, Ventilation in here. This yeah. isn't an overcrowded loft. Yeah, the ventilation is there and here. Yeah, you've got your ventilation, you've got the Avery. Yeah. The birds can go out whenever they want. Yeah, we got Olympic Johnny there. The king himself. There's the king himself. He's a lot like Elvis. <laughs> yeah.
Super nice pigeon. Yeah. Yeah. Talk about what, what did this guy do for you guys? Or what well, has he done? Uh, in, in, in the last uh, year, he do a lot for us. Uh, we win the second semi-final in uh, Victoria Falls with also uh, Bloodline. Uh, uh, he was grandfather of the White Nuru. So uh, we coupled him at the Bloodline of Alphonse Klaas. That makes us Donkere Klaasje. We can show you the hand later. But uh, that's his daughter, Donkere Klaasje. And we coupled him uh, to another cock, and that was White Nuru. We sent her to uh, Victoria Falls, and we play uh, the second in the semi-final in the 39 in the final. And um, last week we play first with his bloodline, son of Olympic Johnny Kipadeltje. And um, this man from Moorijkloft in Middle East, he played first on the 172 kilometer race, sprint race. Sprint race. Yeah, it was a I heavy race. I think of this moment, 60-70% uh, of my pigeons uh, are bloodline from this Olymp Olympic Union. Yeah. Yeah. So th this is the king of the loft. Yeah. yeah. What year is he? He's from uh, 2015. 2015. Yeah. Very nice pigeon. He's now seven years old. Now, do you believe in eyesight? Reading the eye? No. No. I will not pair it uh, two eyes, the, uh, the hen and the cock, the same together. So only I uh, pair it uh, two different eyes together. So you put different eyes together? Yeah, mostly, uh, mostly. What about body structure? Big one to little one or two big ones together? No, uh, I will look for... Uh, you improve. A bigger pigeon, a smaller pigeon together. Okay. I, I look for a nice pigeon in the hand, a race pigeon. Right. Uh, yeah. If the vents are open on one a little bit, you yeah. put it to one with a closer, tighter vent. Yeah. So you improve, improve yeah. the breeding. Not too big, not too 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 short. And these pigeons that you fly, mm -hmm. what do they what what are they specializing in for the distance? What what's their their specialty? Uh, one to to five hundred kilo, uh, kilometers. Especially is uh, I think uh, from three hundred. Up to 600. Okay. That's a special. So they start kicking in around 300 yeah. kilometers up to 600 kilometers. Yeah. So a, a good, yeah, a good uh, a 300, 350 mile pigeon right yeah. here. Yeah. So you're going to see them about 100 miles kick yeah. in to 300. Yeah, but we race here in uh, our afdeling, we start with uh, 120 kilometers and the fast uh, is uh, 810. Okay. There's an I race also with the same pigeons of dead races. Right. Yeah. Uh, speeds. Uh, do these birds do better headwinds, tailwinds? Does it matter? No, it doesn't matter. No. Results, yeah. they, they do it good in all conditions. Yeah. For my own, I uh, have, uh, I love uh, headwind. You're a headwind guy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So these birds obviously got to have the, the strength yeah. to do that. And you uh, have strong pigeons when they come uh, in the first uh, 10. Yeah. You, you, you've got those to do it, and that's for sure. So this is one of your breeding sections. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and you have another one. Yeah. You say it's upstairs. Yeah, upstairs. Okay. Um, do you have a lot of switcher pairs, or foster parents, or no? Uh, no, 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 no. So I make uh, the couples together, and uh, sometimes I give uh, Olympic Johnny a new hen, maybe two, three times in the year. Okay. But not all the couples. Most of the couples I make they're together in the whole year they stay together. Yeah, we, we, we do not do like bull you don't mating know. or no. We, we just not, keep uh, it like uh, yeah, normal. Normal. Yeah. yeah. We have not the time uh, for that. I uh, work also uh, for the city and yeah, when you uh, separate the, the hens and the cocks and you must make a new hen to a new cock, then you must look that they not uh, fight and right. It's, it's a lot of time in that, and I have not uh, not that time for that. Now you you you're also yes, you're not a professional full time pigeon man, but it, this is almost a full time job. You put still put a lot of good work into these yeah. pigeons. Question for you: When you go to bring in a pigeon, buy a pigeon, what are you looking for? 
Uh, most uh, of that is uh, the result of the races. Results. Yeah. So results. When I have a hen, they give me a super razor, and I have a cock, they give me a super razor, and I make that together. Yeah, oh. but what uh, he he means when you when we want to buy something new, maybe yeah. in the loft, mm -hmm. we not always look at a name, but we also looking for the results. Yeah. We we see uh, we what what the hen or the cock digits. fly. They yeah. make first prizes of the races. Yeah. And that we make uh, together to the best pigeons that we have. Okay, so you're looking for the results over pedigree. You yeah. want to see results. Yeah. And you see, birds are very, very content, very happy loft. It smells great, it has no p smell of pigeon at all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's also a daughter of Olympic Johnny. Oh, that's Golden Amigo then, in the Andes, love shaker. Mm -hmm. this, this is a full brother, the Gold Star. It's also a very, very nice pit and also a good, very good breeder. Very nice. And you see the health and the condition on these young ones, second to none. Look at look at the health in this in this cock. Look at the yeah. look at the waddle. Your birds sit very tight on the nest as well. Mm -hmm. This is a daughter of uh, Olympic Johnny. Yeah, you see. Look at it. Very good character, right? Eh? Yeah. Excellent character pigeon. Yeah, I like that. Smart pigeons. This is your favorite, eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now, how would you, when you handle this pigeon in your hand, Leandra, how would you describe him? Describe him for the people, because they're going to call you and ask. <laughs> so how, how is he they in your hands, if you were to describe him? Um, I, I, I like his full body size in the front, mm -hmm. mostly. Uh, he has tight fan bones, he has nice big arms, he is in really good health. Um, uh, the back is really straight, strong, and uh, yeah, I, I like. Uh, how he looks. He's got a beautiful face on him. Yeah. He's got. It looks like to me he's got a lot of fight to him. Yeah. <laughs> like he wants to rip right out of your hands. Yeah. And go. Yeah. Yeah. But he's a real fighter. He's a real fighter. Yeah. And, and you guys have had him since what? 2015. Yeah. Did yeah. race? Yeah. He mm -hmm. was uh, Olympic pigeon. Okay. He was uh, the five, uh, the third best of Holland. Yeah. Uh, the five best of Holland. Yeah, and the and third best the of the, the, the whole uh, yeah. Yeah, w world, how the whole they world. call it that, yeah. He so was of the Olympic in Brussel. Okay. Yeah. So, a nice award to win, some very good competition. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he, you, you feel he's, is he breeding up to his race record? He's breeding yeah. like he's solid. Yeah, yeah. Be because he give to, to many people good, healthy and strong, uh, yeah, sons but and all, daughters. Uh, full brother of that was uh, also the third best uh, cock of the whole uh, Netherlands. Yeah. So the, the, the bloodline Super. continues yeah. to to breed and, 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 and there you have him. You see him, he comes into the into the section like this. It doesn't bother him at the cameras here. No. He kind of reminds me of Bob Barker from The Price is Right. He always loved to be in front of that camera. Yeah. Uh, very nice, simple setup. The grits, the minerals, any tips, uh, specialty for breeding that you think? I mean, I like this with the three youngsters. Mm -hmm. I like seeing that and seeing how good the parents are feeding them. Yeah. Very strong. You cannot do it two, three times uh, after each other. No. That's not the... Uh, You're wearing out. Yeah. But you can do it when you have uh, one couple, you will make new uh, eggs from that. And you can... Uh, Give him uh, that youngster and you put it in an in other in nest. So a little switch like that is okay? Yeah. Anything, uh, any medications you give to these breeders? No, the breeders, I give uh, the breeders uh, one time in a year, uh, 20 days uh, for uh, parathyroids. Okay. And uh, that's most of the end of the season. And I think uh, September, October. And then uh, for uh, breeding start, then I give a tablet for uh, 
Cancer. Cancer. That's yeah. right. Yeah. So, and, and that's it. Yeah, but that's it. Just grit, minerals, vitamins. Grit is there. Uh, vitamins. That is uh, here uh, every day, standing in the loft. And it's again that, that type of a pink red mineral. Yeah. yeah. This is a uh, vita uh, vitalit. Yeah. Together with uh, vita mineral. Yeah. Okay. I, I make it together. Put it together yourself. Yeah. Give it to the birds. One liter uh, vita mineral. Yeah. Of uh, ten liters of. Uh, Fetalid. Okay, anything you put on the feed? Any oils? No. Nothing. Nothing. No. no. Okay. So it's pretty much straightforward and good feed. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Simple? Yeah, yeah. simple. Simple, simple. Yeah. The, no, yeah. I have uh, also, uh, I, I'm not the person for uh, give the pigeons every day uh, yeah, some kind of stuff uh, in the drinking uh, bottles or... Uh, yeah, we, well, we talked about that. You had some, Leander is trying some a different few yeah. natural yeah. products. Yeah. You got them. You tried them for a week and you yeah. said, it's just not your cup of no. tea. And no. that's okay, but, no. but this is maybe older school. Yeah. We've and I, and I am school. younger school, yeah. yeah. Younger school, that's right. <laughs> but but maybe, you, you know, uh, sometimes you want to try something uh, on a natural basis. He is not like that. We want to try that. Uh, maybe it's it's good, maybe not. We, we see what the season brings. And, and the, so, other, the other interesting thing is, yes, you guys are partners. Yeah. But but you yourself, yeah. with your family, yeah. you're flying pigeons against your father. Yeah, and a little bit competitive. A little bit competitive, <laughs> and you change a few of the things up, which is great to see, but you're flying yeah. the same family of pigeons, yeah. Yeah. and why wouldn't you? Yeah. I mean, if it's working for your father, and you've been partners with him, now you've got your place, and you're doing your own thing, yeah. but with the same bloodlines of yeah. pigeons. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I cannot imagine that I will say to my father, oh, I've been to this and to that guy to, to take some pigeons. This no, is the first I'm year that Leandra and uh, Peter uh, from uh, her house uh, started with uh, uh, 12 uh, hens and 12 cocks yeah. on Widderhood for the first time. Mm -hmm. And uh, now, when they make uh, uh, better results than me, then maybe I give next year also uh, a <laughs> little bit <laughs> stuff hey, hey, what hey, they you, do. You, you don't know, maybe Olympic Johnny's going to have to switch locks. Yeah. <laughs> you never know. You, you never know. Yeah. Thank you for taking us into your breeding loft and showing us. Um, I think everyone will enjoy it. Yeah. Again, this is my second time back here. It's the same, it's perfect, it's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Geert Leander Munich, thank you guys very much. Hello, okay. Yeah. <laughs> the legendary Johnny Boy, you know this is a super pigeon when on the side of their, their home, you see what the pigeon did. How good was this pigeon, Leandro? Because I know I could ask your father, but this is a very important pigeon to you. This is like when you were growing up. This pigeon, yeah, correct? Yeah, he, he was a, he he was a really nice nice pigeon. Um, he was not not you know wild. Was a little tame also. He was easy easy with all the hands he get and and. Really an easy cock, nice one, N nice, yeah, nice, everything was super on, on him, nice body, nice everything, yeah. And was he a super flying machine? Yeah, he was, uh, yeah. as a youngster, he make, uh, then he was uh, the best uh, youngster uh, from Holland in uh, the competition, uh, the best of the best. In when he was uh, one year old, then he was uh, the second national middle distance champion from Holland. And you flew him two seasons? Two seasons, as youngster in his yearling. And then uh, I stop him and make him in the breeding loft. And how did he breed? Oh, huh. Amazing, he, he, amazing. Uh, he, he died in 2017, unfortunately, in, in China. But I, I give think- him maybe six, seven, eight hens. He gave me all the hens, good young. Yeah. Unbelievable. But, and but I don't know how much first prizes his children direct make and also the grandchildren, the children from dead pigeons. Yeah. And I think uh, maybe more than, than 100, maybe 150, uh, I don't know. Also by other people in other countries, they make first prizes. 
We yeah, are really, now really here from 2005. Now we are 2022. They make also first prizes this year with grandchildren from that. Right. So he was pretty much a prepotent machine. Yeah. yeah. He loved to breed. He loved to race. Yeah. He yeah. produced very good yeah. pigeons yeah. that yeah. could win and could keep producing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So now we look at your. This is your flying loft. This is my race loft. Yeah. Race loft. Now yeah. these louvers are interesting. Mm -hmm. I've never seen this before. How does something like this work? When I uh, let the pigeons out, then uh, I take it uh, up. Wow. It's very easy. Then they cannot come out. Then I make this up. I make uh, the Sputnik. In front. On front. And then I can let them out. So that's how they come out. Yeah. Just like that. Very simple. Very simple. Obviously, your electronic pad. Yeah. I make it here. And when they come Saturday from home, then uh, I make uh, this one there. Now, for people not knowing as well, I've seen a few lofts now with these. These little, they're like landing boards away from the loft. Yeah, no, that's for the landing. And uh, also when they come home from the race, they are quickly coming from the loft to that. Okay. And then they go easy to uh, the Sputnik. E easy to this. And, and you, yeah, you have no landing boards. You just have the trap Yeah. just up there. So the yeah. birds normally come, what, to the roof, then to the board, then in? Most, uh, they come from the race direct of... Under here. Under, yeah. And I have seen your birds trap. The next time I come, <laughs> the next time I come here in two weeks, I'll yeah. come when he flies his birds. We're yeah. gonna Facebook live them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Put him on the spot. Now yeah. I might have to go to your house. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. See how yours are doing too. Yeah, do that. Yeah. Do that. Score it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, Make time on it. Yes. Make time on it. We're gonna get maybe. Uh, what do you think? A thousand dollars cash prize away. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do that. We can do that. We're gonna get maybe a thousand dollars cash prize away. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do that. We can do that. We're gonna get maybe. Uh, what do you think? A thousand dollars cash prize away. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do that. We can do that. Can we go in and take a look at the? Yeah. These are two lofts for. Uh, the widowhood uh, for the cocks, and this is one for the hens. Yeah. Okay, and, and question Do you prefer to raise hens? I raise the uh, same uh, together, uh, the now cocks what, and the hens. What do you love more, cocks or hens? I, no, I, no. I, I like cocks and I like hens. Uh, it's not uh, different. Uh, Equal? Sometimes you have uh, uh, the first two pigeons are cocks, or some, uh, next week then you have two hens. Uh, okay. Sometimes a hen and a cock. Uh, it's and, and they're all flown widowhood? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But what the fish do? Vist u Duvin mooier of vist u Doffers mooier? Oh, I, I like also the cocks. Yeah. Yeah. And very nice. also you find her very even. I, the, the cocks are... Uh, That's good. Yeah, they're also good. All right. Yeah, but the hens are a uh, little bit... Uh, Quicklier when they come home uh, in the evening, you can let them out. They train <laughs> one hour. They come, they come back to uh, bounce back. Yeah. They rejuvenate much quicker. Yeah, mo okay. much quicker. Okay. Yeah. Well, hey, let's go in and take a look and let's see what we see here. You can come in. I will take uh, make the lights on. <laughs> you are all white. <laughs> Well, sometimes it has to happen when you're in, the, when you're in great luck. Yes. You gotta pay the price. So, so this here would be your section with your widowhood hens. Yeah, this is the loft from the hens. And your hens now, how long have they been in the uh, the individual? Uh, boxes. They sit down the whole day there. The whole day? Yeah. As soon as you take them away from the cocks, you put them up in these boxes. Yeah. Do you ever feed them in the boxes or no? No, always on the I floor. feed them on the floor. Feed them on the floor. Yeah. And do the hens normally always take the same boxes or it doesn't matter? No. I no. make it open. Oh boy. And they can in, they can out. And when I have, uh, I let you see, I take this one. Uh -oh. When the hens are sit down on the floor, I do three, four, five times this, and they go. That's and the Munich stick. In five seconds, they're all in their box. They're like little soldiers. Yeah. Like little soldiers. A very nice setup. 
easy. It's very easy. It's uh, you can do a quick. You can feed and. And, and you will feed these hens how many times a day? Two, two times. Two times a day? Yeah. Morning, night? Mornings and evenings. And what time of day do you normally exercise them? Uh, when they uh, go out yes. in yes. the evening. In the evening? Yeah, same. only only in the evening. Same time every day? Yeah, every day, same time. So before you go to work in the morning, you let them out, give them a little bit of breakfast? Yeah, I let them out of uh, the box. I uh, give them the feed mm -hmm. for a half hour, and they must also drink. Right. And then uh, they, they go in. So they get 30 minutes to eat and drink, tap yeah. the stick, back into the box. Yeah. When you come home from work, you will open the box up. Yeah. They come down, they have, probably have another drink no when I open the box they go out for right training away. yeah okay for and one hour for one hour yeah you flag them or you want to see them go on their own no they, they go for it own but uh, when I let them out is uh, they are gone for 20 30 minutes they're ranging coming back going yeah. forth yes I don't know where they are they're flying good yeah and when they come home and, uh, and you're done after an hour you make the call they come right in yeah. you don't leave them out they Direct. Then I uh, open uh, the loft in I think uh, 10 seconds they are in, in, in the, the loft. loft. Yeah. Just like that, they come in, they eat, they drink. Yeah. Half hour, back to the boxes, yeah. and they go to bed. Yeah. And they don't see the cocks? No. Nothing. When no. will you show them the cocks? Uh, one hour before basketing. So you let them out, let yeah. them go in and see the mates. Yeah. Have these hens all had babies? No. No. I, I uh, hate uh, when I uh, must have uh, breeding out of my uh, race pigeons. Now why is that? I have breeders enough. <laughs> And you have breeders enough. Yeah. yeah. So when will these hens, when will you take young from them? When they uh, stop with race. Stop with Then them. they go to the breeding loft and then I uh, breed out of that. So your, even your widowhood cocks, they haven't had any babies? No. 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 So, so no, a little bit different, no babies, no. nothing? Last year, the first, uh, second, uh, the first round is going to Leandra. Okay. Uh, yeah, she started with pigeons and then I give her the whole round to fly. So my, yesterday, uh, what you pigeons. see, my pigeons, they yeah. are out of the flyers okay. from last year. Yeah. Okay. That was the first time. But not this yeah. year. We have not uh, no. breeding now from this year out of my race pigeons. And you've done this for how many years like this? My whole life. And good results. Yeah. You're very happy with your results. Not complaining. Super results. Super results. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and for one of these hens, let's just say, we don't know which one, but you know the good ones in here. <laughs> How many years will you play them before they will make the breeding loft? Uh, in this loft are now, I mean, three, four pigeons from 2018. Mm -hmm. And this is the last year that I raised with them. These are four years. Four years old. Yeah. Most of them are yearling. Yearlings. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and to make your breeding loft, they have to be the best of the best. Yeah. They have to have top results. Yeah. yeah. So it's very tough to get there. Yeah. Not a lot. You don't. Uh, not a lot make it. Oh, they must make first prizes. That's the yeah. only way. There's the only way that they can come in the breeding loft. Okay. Yeah. And you've stuck like this your whole life. Yeah. And the results are good. Yeah. You're breeding the good ones. Yeah. yeah you. you you are really in your selection. Yeah. yeah. I'm not that easy in the selection, but I think it's because I'm a, I'm a woman. But <laughs> oh, you're, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I I I, I uh, yeah. And this section here, how many hens will this uh, this hold? This will hold uh, eight. What do we got here? About. Uh, 40 boxes? These are now uh, 34. 34. I have a little bit more hands than cocks. And who is this you have here in your hands? This is a daughter of Olympic Johnny. They make three, four first prizes. This hen right here? Yeah. And this is what we talk about. So this is a hen that you are going to consider definitely to put into yeah. your breeding loft. Yeah. I hope uh, that the hawk is not eat him. Mm -hmm. And then next year he go to the... And this hen, this is now, she's going to fly as a yearling. Yeah. This is now from uh, 2018, 19, 2019. 19. Yeah, it's three years now. Three years. Mm -hmm. yeah. She's got multiple first prizes. I think uh, this last year for her. And she and you will fly her roughly how many weeks? Uh, 
I think uh, when I not uh, race on the late distance, then are 14 races, including the late distance 17 races. 17 races. Yeah. So this pigeon's got a lot of work still to go. Yeah. So she will have roughly in her life, uh, what, let's just say 20. Okay. For probably about 65, 70 races. Yeah. 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 Very nice. I can tell she's a small pigeon, tight. Very short pigeon, but short. very clever. Uh, do you find all pigeons have to be perfect in your hands, or are there exceptions? No, I, I uh, like this kind of pigeons. Yes. Not too big, not too small. It, it's okay if the back comes up a little bit, if they're a little short, you're okay yeah. with it. Yeah. Yeah, you see it. It's nice. It's still a nice pigeon. And getting the results for you, that's what matters. There was an old uh, pigeon friend here when I was a young boy, mm -hmm. and uh, that was a very good raiser, and he told me get all the pigeons they are coming with the head and the front right not with the back <laughs> <laughs> the most important thing from a pigeon is the head okay and nobody can look it in the head of the pigeon that's right that, that and that's that's common sense i mean we can yeah. pick the most beautiful as pigeons yeah, yeah. but it doesn't mean they're any damn smart yeah. the only thing we can't see is the, the brain yeah and the heart yeah but it's the only uh, uh, they they can make it uh, a good pigeon is, is you must basket them. Basket them. That's and, right. and the best pigeon is the pigeon that come first in your love. Continuously top results. And yeah. the basket never lies to you. Yeah. No. The pedigrees can lie, but the basket will never. Mm. Basketing not. So there you have it. We seen the the hens. Now, did you want to show us the cockbirds? Yeah, yeah. We might as well take a look at the cocks, Leander. Yeah, of Go course. Go to the cocks. All, all nice little, little soldiers. So, just regular, nice widowhood boxes. Yeah. They got the nice. They are, you, you can see that they are deeper yeah. than, than ours. Deeper than yours. Yeah. yeah. And I, uh, I think that's the father of the crazy pigeon we have there, the yellow box. Yellow yeah. box. <laughs> Yesterday evening you was uh, in Leandra's lot. That's his father. The Bigger. crazy pigeon was the son of this. <laughs> So, so none of these cocks have had any babies? No. Year. No, they have only eggs. And the, the question I have for you, your, these cockbirds, how many times they go out once a day as well? Once a day. The same like the hens. So the hen, do the hens go out first or the cocks? Uh, most the cocks. Cocks go out first. Yeah. What do you want? To, how do you want them to fly? One hour? One hour. All the same than the hens. Okay. What? Uh, I feed the same uh, the hens and the cocks. Uh, it's not not different. Okay. The question I have for you is, these cocks, when you let them out and they go for a loft line, if they want to land after 20 minutes, do you let them land and play around or they must come right in? No, they must go straight in the loft. Why? Uh, when they sit down on the loft, then the hawk is coming and they pick me one or two pigeons every week. So they fly, they come in? Yeah, direct. All right. I cannot let them out for uh, fun, only for training. Only for training. Okay. And I notice most of these boxes are closed, so the box only sit on the ledge. Yeah, only two boxes are open. When the old cock uh, is fight with uh, the young cock, and when uh, I close the box, then he go there and make them out. All right. You, you never feed them in the box? No, never. Always on the floor. Everything on the floor. Yeah. And uh, these guys eat twice a day as well. Yeah. Same like the hens. Same like the hens. Yeah. So pretty straightforward. They see the, uh, the hens an hour before. When they come home, how? Uh, when they come home, how much time do they get with the hens? When they come uh, home, then uh, it's uh, mostly 
that they stay uh, in together to the evening. Ready. And then uh, most I when I go to the club, then I uh, separate them before or a little bit later. Okay, so you use common sense, you let them see the hens, you give them a bowl, you open up the boxes, they can go, yeah. they can play, yeah. they have a good time. Yeah, the whole day. The whole day. Yeah. How often do you bathe them? In bath. In bath. Once a week. Once I a think. week. Once a week, yeah. same day? Same. No. Are the next day that they come from the race. So Sunday? Yeah, my, my most Sunday. You separate them? You, you pull them away, then you give them a bath? I separate, no. I separate them in the evening, I feed them. I close the back from the hens and the cocks, and then next day they uh, go and bath. Go and bath. They bath inside or outside? No, outside. Outside. Yeah. Okay. And then yeah. you allow them that if they want to fly, they can fly. They can have a bath. But also the bath is in uh, in a ring. Mm -hmm. I let them not uh, give them the bath, and that they can sit down on the loft. That's no, not. So you put an Avery on. Yeah, it's They go in the Avery yeah. for the bath. The hawk is uh, yeah, the biggest problem here. Question, when you bathe your pigeons, hot water, cold water, does it matter? How do you mean it? Uh, Warm water? When you bathe them or cool water? No, uh, cool water. Okay. Yeah. Do you put anything in the bath water? Salts? No, Nothing. no, no. Nothing at all? No. When I go in bath, uh, I go also in clean water. <laughs> That's true. Is it cold or is it warm? That's warm. It's warm. Okay. I, well, hey. No, he go in ice cold. <laughs> he goes in ice cold. Yeah. Uh, no special in your racing with your cocks and hens. Special medications you're giving every week? No, only when they come home from the race, then I give uh, for uh, BS from uh, Belgica de Weert. Okay. That's for the cancer. Okay, and you yeah. give that what, one day? One and a half day. One and a half day. Saturday evening and Sunday. Saturday evening yeah. and Sunday? Every, yeah. every week. Every week? Yeah. And after that, nothing else? Nothing. No. Grits, minerals, vitamins? All is in the loft. All is in the loft? You can see it in the... In the yeah. And again, you see... And not every day I give uh, new. Once a week I make it in the, for the whole week. Make it for the whole week. So you're constantly giving it to them fresh, these grits, these minerals. This loft again has no smell in it at all. Ventilation is perfect. There's no draft in here. No. Oh. It's a very nice setup. You can see, see the pigeons uh, look nice. Yeah, they look tremendous. They are uh, ready for the race. And if they're, they're, now that they're getting used to me in here, they're starting to calm down, which yeah, is, is I, nice to see. I just stand in the back and they they going a little bit wild because I'm not always here, you know, and then... Yes, that's true. It's uh, And how many cocks can this section hold? Uh, I only have uh, 28. And we have now one box, uh, there is more. But uh, I hate that cocks, they in the sit down uh, of, of on the bottom. You don't like bottom, okay. Yeah. Well, there you have it. A, a very nice, simple, I think it's a very simple mm -hmm. little hood loft. Yeah. yeah. The hens look great here. The cocks look tremendous. The health on these pigeons is super. I want to thank you for taking the time to show us this. Here we are, Feathered <laughs> Pigeon Auctions. We are at the Munich, and Leandra Munich has asked me if I want to see, what did you call it, the King of the Kings? Yeah, it's, 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 um, yeah, it's the, it's the Golden Amigo, he is the... The base breeder. Yeah, the base breeder. I think you need to go in front because it's really small. Again, small section. So this is just another breeding. Yeah. Look at this pigeon right here. That's it, the old man. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's him? the man. Sure. Yeah. I didn't even know. I just took a look. He looked right through me. That's yeah. the golden amigo. This is uh, the father of Olympic Johnny. He's the, he's the best one. Yeah. yeah. Well, what year would he be? I give him a new hen next. Uh, I think tomorrow. Ja, van welk jaar? Uh, 11 toch? Hij is van 2011. Now, normally I don't do this, Leander. You, shall, want, you want to hold I? the camera? Of course. Good luck. Now, yeah. hey, this is your first time. Don't... Uh... Hey, people, we're live <laughs> with Ryan and my father. 
Okay, so this Brian is... Brian now handled the Golden Amigo. Yeah, he's 2011. He doesn't yeah. feel like a 2011. No. He's, he's absolutely super in the hands. But he has the feeling, he has the feeling of your family of pigeons. Yeah. He all built the same way. And, you know, it, it's incredible. It's incredible the quality of these pigeons. Nice, nice tight in the forearm. 2011, that would make him how old? Jeez. It's now 22. So, so he's, he's 12. He's 12. 12 years. And I will say something. This pigeon does not feel like a 12 year old pigeon. Hmm. He is, he's a su su supreme pigeon in the hands. He make good eggs. He's 12 years old. He's 12 <laughs> years old, yeah. The feather quality is great. Now, how many youngsters a year will you take out of this guy? Not a uh, lot. No. No? Maybe eight youngsters. Eight a year, and yeah. you normally switch the hands? Yeah, he, I give him uh, two, three hands. He's got a bicep on here, his muscle. When you put your hand on here and you feel it, mm -hmm. it's about that thick. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And, and for you people wondering what I feel, I put my hand underneath, feel it in the arm, the armpit, the bone in the armpit. This clamps down tight, but the muscle in here is real thick, real strong. He's got a beautiful eye. And you, he's intelligent. How many good ones is this one, Brad? Oh. <laughs> a lot. A yeah. Lot. yeah. We talked be, be, before about the Olympic Johnny, but yeah, he 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 he, he is the base breeder of all. He is the base breeder of all. He is the father of Olympic Johnny. Yeah, he was uh, the father of the the, the, the pigeon. He was the third best of all Holland yeah. of the short distance. Yeah. So these birds. His the mother of uh, this pigeon was a direct daughter from uh, Johnny Boy. There was the Golden Girl. They make seven first prizes. That's right. I remember that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the family is still winning for you guys today. Yeah. yeah. You see the character in this pigeon. And the health in these boxes. But I, mean, I have not uh, separated pigeon. That is, uh, the, he breed the whole uh, winter. Whole winter. You yeah. keep them going. Yeah. Very nice. Very healthy pigeons. This is uh, Embra, daughter of uh, son and daughter from Golden Amigo. So you're inbreeding right here. Yeah. Very nice. And you put the, 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 the pots there, the feed pots. That's pot. a, a cock from uh, Pipa, mm -hmm. a little center. Uh -huh. This is uh, bred out of uh, the paws line. Very nice pigeons. Yes, very, very nice. Very healthy pigeons. Calm, not a big, not a big loft at all. The floor is nice, clean. This is a lot of work for you to clean, scrape out the boxes every day. Two times a day. Two times a day. Yeah. You have a bedroom in here. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, a late bread son from uh, Golden Amigo. Yeah, he's very nice. See the character in him. Yeah. Super. Give it last year. I'm very happy that he bred. Uh, he make good eggs. And the babies you see, look at the quality in them. Super. Very nice. Very nice. Very healthy, eh? Yeah, yeah. And these birds uh, here. They are ready. Tomorrow I separate them. And you, you now, to tell people, you lift up the wings. What are you looking for when you lift up the wings? When the wings are not 100% uh, full, that you can see uh, the body of the pigeon, then uh, they are not ready for separation. So, so we call that, that's that's dry. Yeah. If yeah. you lift up and you see skin, it's wet. Yeah. So you like them to be all feathered out underneath. Yeah. I let them a little bit longer to the parents, oh, and then the parents, they learn the pigeons to eat. And you give the feed cup. Every day you feed them in here as well. Yeah. And the parents come and eat in the box. Yeah. The parents show the young. The young can come and eat as yeah. well. Yeah. 
anything special uh, you put nothing special in the water no. here either the nothing. same the same that uh, all my pigeons uh, I, f I feed them no only uh, these, these are breeding pigeons they I give breeding food now a question for you do you how do you bathe these pigeons if you want to give them bath uh, also once a week yes they go Avery or in here no outside in, outside. The, in the rain in the rain okay. yeah. outside in the Avery not a problem so I cannot birds get the bath the race birds get the bath yeah I cannot let them out the hawk is this uh, we'll yeah. Eat yeah. <laughs> that's not possible well hey thank you okay thank you thank you thank you this was very nice see I get to see the old boy yeah Lucky yes me. <laughs> next until I come back next I bet you next time you'll feel better and still be breeding yeah I hope so we hope yeah all right thanks here okay here we are feathered leaf pigeon auctions we are at the Munich and Leandra Munich has asked me if I want to see what did you call it the king of the kings yeah it's 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 um yeah it's the, it's the golden amigo he is the the base breeder yeah the base breeder I think you need to go in front because it's really small. Again, small section. So this is just another breeding. Yeah. Look at this pigeon right here. That's it, the old man. Yeah, oh, that's, that's the man. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even know. I just took a look. He looked right through me. This yeah. is called an amigo. This is uh, the father of Olympic Johnny. He's the, he's the best one. Yeah. yeah. Well, what year would he be? I give him a new hen next, uh, I think, tomorrow. Yeah, from what year? Uh, he is from 2011. Now, normally I don't do this, Leandra. You, shall, want, you want to hold I? the camera? Of course. Good luck. Now, yeah. hey, this is your first time. Don't... Uh... Hey, people, we are live <laughs> with Ryan and my father. <laughs> okay, so this Ryan is... Ryan now handled the Golden Amigo. Yeah, he's 2011. He doesn't yeah. feel like a 2011. No. He's, he's absolutely super in the hands. But he has the feeling, he has the feeling of your family of pigeons. Yeah. He all built the same way. And, you know, it, it's incredible. It's incredible the quality of these pigeons. Nice, nice tight in the forearm. 2011, that would make him how old? Jeez. It's now 22. So, so it's 12. He's 12. 12 years. And I will say something. This pigeon does not feel like a 12-year-old pigeon. Hmm. He is, he's a su su supreme pigeon in the hands. He make good eggs. He's 12 years old. He's 12 years old, yeah. The feather quality is great. Now, how many youngsters a year will you take out of this guy? Not a uh, lot. No. No? Maybe eight youngsters. Eight a year. And you yeah. normally switch the hands? Yeah, he, I give him uh, two, three hands. He's got a bicep on here, his muscle. When you put your hand on here and you feel it, mm -hmm. it's about that thick. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And, and for you people wondering what I feel, I put my hand underneath, feel it in the arm, the armpit, the bone in the armpit. This clamps down tight, but the muscle in here is real thick, real strong. He's got a beautiful eye. And you, he's intelligent. How many good ones is this one, Brad? Oh. <laughs> a lot. A yeah. Lot. Yeah. We talked be, be, before about the Olympic Johnny, but yeah, he 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 is the base breeder of all. He is the base breeder of all. He is the father of Olympic Johnny. Yeah, he was uh, the father of the the, the, the pigeon. He was the third best of all Holland yeah. of the short distance. Yeah. So these birds. His the mother of uh, this pigeon was a direct daughter from uh, Johnny Boy. There was the Golden Girl. They make seven first prizes. That's right. I remember that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the family is still winning for you guys today. Yeah. yeah. You see the character in this pigeon. And the health in these boxes. But I, mean, I have not uh, separated pigeon. That is, uh, the, he breed the whole uh, winter. Whole winter. You yeah. keep them going. Yeah. Very nice. Very healthy pigeons. 
This is uh, Andre, daughter of uh, son and daughter from Golden Amigo. So you're inbreeding right here. Yeah. Very nice. And you put the, 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 the pots there, the feed pots. That's pot. a, a cock from uh, Pipa, mm -hmm. a little center. Uh -huh. This is uh, bred out of uh, the pores line. Very nice pigeons. Yes, very, very nice. Very healthy pigeons. Calm, not a big, not a big loft at all. Floor is nice, clean. This is a lot of work for you to clean, scrape out the boxes every day. Two times a day. Two times a day. Yeah. You have a bedroom in here. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, a light bread son from uh, Golden Amigo. Yeah, he's very nice. See the character in him. Yeah. Super. Give it last year. I'm very happy that he bred. Uh, he make good eggs. And the babies you see, look at the quality in them. Super. Very nice. Very nice. Very healthy, eh? Yeah, yeah. And these birds uh, here. They are ready. Tomorrow I separate them. And you, you now, to tell people, you lift up the wings. What are you looking for when you lift up the wings? When the wings are not 100% uh, full, that you can see uh, the body of the pigeon, then uh, they are not ready for separation. So we call that, that's that's dry. Yeah. If yeah. you lift up and you see skin, it's wet. Yeah. So you like them to be all feathered out underneath. Yeah. I let them a little bit longer to the parents, oh, and then the parents, they learn the pigeons to eat. And you give the feed cup. Every day you feed them in here as well. Yeah. And the parents come and eat in the box. Yeah. The parents show the young. The young can come and eat as yeah. well. Yeah. Anything special? Uh, you put nothing special in the water no. here either. No. The nothing? same. The same that uh, all my pigeons. Uh, I, f I feed them. No. Only uh, these, these are breeding pigeons. They, I give breeding food. Now a question for you. Do you? How do you bathe these pigeons? If you want to give them bath, uh, also once a week. Yes, they go Avery or in here? No, outside in, outside. The, in the rain. In the rain. Okay. Yeah. Outside in the Avery, not a problem. So, I cannot, birds get the bath. The race birds get the bath. Yeah. I cannot let them out. The hawk is. Uh, we'll yeah. eat them. Yeah. <laughs> That's not possible. Well, hey, thank you. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This was very nice. See, I get to see the old boy. Yeah. Lucky yes. me. <laughs> Next time I come back next, I bet you next time you'll feel better and still be breeding. Yeah, I hope so. We hope, yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks, Gert. Okay. Hey guys, Ryan, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. We hope you enjoyed that amazing loft tour. Please, reminder to like, share, and subscribe. Follow us on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Until the next loft tour, thanks for flying with me. Bye for now.